Welcome. Today we're painting a bluebird with some oak leaves and this little acorn. So if you followed some of my previous videos, I showed how I used clear gesso on wood. And this is one of my panels that I've painted with clear gesso. And then I've, I tried to just do a, a stain of blue, ultramarine blue, but it turned out a little thicker and darker than I intended. Uh, I would was trying to get just a really, really uh, thin glaze uh, to show more of the wood grain uh, coming through. But we're going to go ahead and paint on it. Um, I am really liking this clear gesso though, I'll say. Um, and liking also uh, using different transparencies in the paints um, so that uh, you can see kind of like a story behind the layers and even the sketches, uh, kind of like the scaffolding or bones of the uh, painting coming through. And um, I'm really liking that effect a lot. So I'm having a ton of fun with the clear gesso. All right, so this is just gonna be an Eastern Bluebird and some oak leaves. And I have a photo of the oak leaves on the wall. I found them on a walk and just snapped a picture with my phone. And then I, I picked up this acorn. So uh, the acorn's going to look, a, I was questioning whether or not I wanted to redo the acorn because I'm, I decided you can't really tell, but I'm looking at the very bottom of it. You're looking at it from the side view, but I'm looking at the very bottom. So I'm just seeing the round bottom, and uh, that's how I decided to paint it with the uh, bottom uh, stem little thingy uh, right smack dab in the middle. And I was thinking about maybe going back and redoing it to make it look a little more realistic and less painterly, but then I decided, you know, it's not really the focus of the painting. I want to keep the focus on the bluebird. So I'll just leave it kind of rough and um, just like a very loose suggested acorn. I mean, and if within the context of it being with the uh, oak leaves and then also me selling it in the fall, I think um, it's makes it more obvious what it is. And um, again, the also the bluebird's not super realistic. I, I could have used some different, more natural colors, like uh, maybe a burnt sienna, or even I think I used a cadmium red. I think even the queen of Credone red would give it a lot more transparent layers to the breast of the bluebird that might blend more realistically. Uh, but I decided to just have fun with it and uh, uh, kind of exaggerate the colors a little bit. All right, so um, I took a phone call and now I'm back to part two of this video. Just gonna finish it up. And I decided to go with kind of a yellow green background. Um, yeah, I was leaning towards maybe a lighter blue, like on the belly, but um, then I decided, no, I'll go with a color that uh, is a little different than what you see, maybe tie in with the bottom of the oak leaf a little bit. And I have two blues on my palette. I have both an ultramarine blue and a cerulean blue. You can kind of see the cerulean in the head and then the ultramarine more on the body or the feathers and wings of the bird. And I'm also using a viridian green, which is in the background. It's also in the acorn. So the other colors on my palette are transparent earth orange, academium yellow, medium. Uh, it's a Persian rose that's giving this color. It's kind of an opaque, kind of peachy color. And uh, what else? Um, just two colors of white. Uh, one's more opaque than the other. And then, um, let's see, I mentioned cadmium red light the Persian rose, the 
two blues, the Cerulean and the Ultramarine and um, Viridian. And I'm pretty sure that's all. Now I did get a new brush that has, I've used this brush in the past and it gives me the real painterly look uh, for the background which is a little wider. It is hard to use getting in the little nooks and crannies of the painting <clears throat> but it's nice for big swaths of color especially on the book background. I also use it at the very end on uh, kind of like a highlight on the breast of the bluebird. And I've stained the sides of this with the blue uh, transparent blue paint and I just keep them blue uh, at this time. All right, we're almost done. Um, I'll just leave some music and you can just go ahead and enjoy the rest of this painting.